So I got into the van life a few years ago, I'd say I started researching it. I came across this guy's Instagram page that was living in his Prius. So I was like, oh, that'd be so cool. I've always wanted to travel, do a big road trip across the country. So I started looking at that. And then since I grew up camping, that kind of snowballed into, oh, I should get a camper. That's way more realistic than a Prius. And then became this road trip that I took across the country. And then the rest is history. It's just become my full-time lifestyle. When I first started, I was just traveling, like I think it was about three, four months. So I wasn't working, I'd saved up money. Then I came to Victoria, BC, fell in love with out here, needed money. So I'm working two jobs right now, working six days a week currently. So I don't have exactly all the freedom that I once had, but now it's kind of just like weekend trips here and there when I can. Um, and kind of just exploring the island. Usually in the summertime, I take off last summer, I did a huge road trip all the way down to San Diego. So when I can, not, not as frequent, um, as I would like at the moment, but it is what it is. <laughs> I grew up in a fairly small town, so kind of just wanting to break free of that. And then coming out here and like seeing the mountains and the ocean um, was just mind blowing to me. So yeah, just the whole vibe and the people and the beauty of it is really what has made me stay here and not go back to Ontario. I've been living in my van for two years now. So this is my van, Nancy Jean. Uh, she has a Dodge Ram road track and she is 36 years old, so 1983. An older man had it, so I bought it off him for $5,000. I did just rip out the flooring, make new flooring, reupholster, and paint. That's kind of it. And then just decorated it to make it seem more homey, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> the big beautiful Nancy Jane. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> So back here is my bedroom. It's a fairly big bed. I have storage above, which has a bunch of my summer clothes in it right now. Um, I have my bathing suits, some sweaters. I have some electronics up here as well. Underneath the bed, there's a little bit of storage. Underneath the bed is also where I have my furnace. So in the winter time, when it's cold, I have my furnace, it's built in, it runs off propane. So that's under there. Also on either end here, there's a, the propane furnace under that one. And then I have my water tank for my sink underneath this one. So there's not a whole lot of storage actually underneath where there's typically storage. Um, but I have some lawn chairs and some other like jackets and stuff put back under there. And then there's the kitchen here. I just have some dry food up there some cooking stuff up there. I also have a two burner stove, so that's how I do any cooking, if I do any. <laughs> um, my cutlery in here. Then I have my fridge. I'm not gonna open the door though, <laughs> because the door is broken at the moment. So every time I open it, it kind of like falls off. The more you hang around me, the more you realize that there's small little things that break in here that I don't know how to fix. So that's one of them. Uh, the fridge also runs off of propane. Um, and then in here, I just have like all of my dishes, dish soap, Lysol, all my cleaning supplies underneath there as well. There's my sink here. My sink at the moment isn't actually working, um, but for some reason the water pump isn't working. I didn't use it all winter. I was just scared of the water freezing, but I filled up my water tank and the water's not coming out. So that's just another thing I have to figure out how to fix. <laughs> In here we have my closet, which is much bigger than I think I need. Um, if I were to redo my van, I probably wouldn't have a high closet. I'd probably have this shorter so it makes it more open in here it's a little bit messy as well but i have my clothes mostly hanging in here my socks and underwear above here inside of this door here there's actually a porta potty um, i just recently started using it because i figured the only way to find out how to empty it is to fill it up so i just started using it and then had to figure out how to empty it um, so yeah there's a little uh, porta potty toilet that i just used to go pee um, I don't put toilet paper or anything down there strictly just for that, but I try not to use it if I don't have to. And then I also just have a bin in there with some more clothes. So yeah, just more storage area in there. And now I have entered what I call the living room, also the, the cabin, driving cabin. So yeah, this I actually have had quite a few friends over recently and we all like hang up, hang out up here. This uh, chair swivels. The front one can, I usually just keep it turned around, but there's like a fair amount of seating up here. Uh, these both have seat belts as well, so if we need to use them while driving, we can, but typically I don't really have anyone driving around with me, it's just me. Um, there's also storage underneath both of these. Um, so in here, I kind of just, I just have my tools. 
and all the stuff that it's kind of like a garage like all my garage stuff would, would be under that seat and then here I just have some like more blankets um, pillowcases that's also where my house battery is which I'm sort of having an issue with at the moment but yeah that's where that's kept so the house battery is in here and it runs off uh, runs my lights um, my water pump and also i need it to run my furnace unfortunately the furnace doesn't just run off of propane which is a little bit annoying <laughs> so if my battery's dead then i don't have heat just because that um, fan in there uses the battery one of the things that i love but also might change if i had the opportunity the ceiling here is actually all cushion fabric ceiling which i think is kind of neat however these skylights which i <laughs> also love but have had issues with last winter they were leaking um, so water had leaked in here and just having fabric up here with moisture like really kind of scares me I feel like it if I had the chance or the money I would rip that out and put like wood ceiling just because I'm nervous that like mold might end up in there so that's one thing that um, I would change if I could so ducky is probably my favorite little um, thing in Nancy Jean and ducky's right here Saving concussions is what I say his job is. It's quite sharp. And while I was renovating this, my dad, God bless my dad, was uh, every time he would be exiting the vehicle would smash his head on that. So I had put it up there um, because of my dad. Some of the things I struggle with living in the van um, would definitely be the winters. It's Canada. <laughs> the winters are can be a bit harsh. When things break down, I am not a handy woman at all. I try to fix things on my own all the time. If you take a look at my closet door, there's about four attempts to fix the thing. Um, so I struggle with things like that, but that's about it. Just kind of breaking down and, and the weather. But those are things I've also gotten used to. So I don't think of it as too much of a struggle now. It's very much just a part of my life now one of my biggest struggles being in the van and that was June of um, last year I had appendicitis so I did about a week of recovery from surgery in this van by myself and that is the only time during this journey that I had felt like these four walls could not be any smaller so yeah that's probably the the, the biggest thing I had to go through is like a health issue in a van at those times it would really be nice to just have like a hot shower and like more space the places I park at night are usually like near parks or in parks because you're not in anyone's way. As long as you kind of move in the morning, you keep it moving. And there's public bathrooms. <laughs> usually near parks, there's public bathrooms, so that's nice. <laughs> you just don't want to be outside a residential area is the biggest thing because they don't like that, they'll complain. There's one main street here in Victoria that I've been living on for about a year now. Like not every single night, I, I keep it moving every couple of days, but that's kind of my go-to spot and there's quite a few other van lifers that are living there at the moment as well. Here on the island, there's definitely a community of people. There's like a housing crisis. It's crazy expensive to live here. Um, so a lot of people have been moving into vans. I really wish that living in a van helped me save money. It definitely can it, if you do it properly. I'm still only like 24 years old and I still like to go out and have a good time and I eat out downtown. I'm downtown six days a week working. So it's really hard to you know bring meals for every meal of the day but if you do it smart and you really pay attention you can definitely save a lot of money it just depends if you're traveling far or not too like i don't spend that much money on gas right now because i'm just in the city um, but if you're traveling lots gas will be a, a big part of your spending what do i like most about living in a van um that this is all mine everything in here these are all my things this is all i need it's mine i own it the freedom that can come with it that can come with it <laughs> is awesome um, even though I don't have a whole lot of that at the moment and just the people I meet the people it attracts the opportunities I feel like it's it's given me is what I love the most yeah my future plans I'd say would be to live in this van for as long as I can I mean I love her but realistically she's like 36 years old which is pretty old for a vehicle so the time will eventually come where she might not run anymore um, but I think the long term goal would be to like own a piece of property somewhere up island and like have a little tiny home on it or I, I don't ever want to get rid of Nancy Jean so I think I'm going to park her on that property one day <laughs> but yeah I think it would be have like my, my own spot somewhere here on the island um, and still live out that tiny home lifestyle but a bit bigger 
one day when I have a family and kids and stuff. I can't fit all that into here, so <laughs> gotta upgrade eventually. Yeah. I think one message I would like to get across is that you don't have to be like traveling full time um, to be living in a van. I did that at the beginning. I was traveling all over, had so many amazing memories, and then you know the money eventually runs out and I have to get a job and I have to settle down somewhere. I did anyway, so I think what I want to get across is that you don't you don't need to go somewhere crazy. You don't have to do all these crazy things to live in a van. That's the greatest thing about doing it is you make it how you want it. You live your life the way you want, and that's what this van represents. Be sure to subscribe to Exploring Alternatives and check out our playlists for more stories like this. You can also follow Clarissa on Instagram at Clarissa King. Thanks for watching.